Our coverage of fall camp continues here on LibertyFlames.com. My name is Nick Pierce visiting here with Liberty Flames defensive back Wesley Scott. And fall camp starting to wind down here a little bit, Wesley, as uh, you look at how things have gone so far. Has camp been any different for you this year as opposed to years past? Um, a little bit. I, I know more of what to expect. Uh, my reps have increased, you know, being a, a veteran guy now. I know what to, like I said, I know what to expect. I know what to look forward to and um, what's, what's expected of me. With uh, losing a couple of key guys in the secondary, like uh, Jacob Hagan and Kenny Scott, uh, how, who are a couple of other guys that you're ex expecting to kind of step up into that role and, and uh, fill that void? Uh, safety, Avery James. Definitely, you know, he didn't register last year, did a lot of good things for us. Uh, Alpha Jalo at safety as well. Um, another corner is uh, Tyron Holloway. I definitely see big things coming out of him from the boundary side. Justin Guillory from the field. Um, myself in the nickel spot and, you know, both field and boundary. Um, a young guy that I, I have a lot of expectations for is uh, Jeremy Peters. Mm -hmm. He showed me a lot coming in the summer, and um, I knew he'd be he'd be ready for camp. Have you seen growth in this group from last year to this year? I know at times, you know, the, this this group went through some learning pains uh, at times out there on the field. Have you seen a significant uh, jump from last year to this year? Yeah, there, there's definitely been a, a jump in the maturity level of the entire group. Um, I know Tyron Holloway has been a bit of a jokester and kind of kind of laissez-faire kind of guy, but he, he's, he's, he's tightened up and um, made some adjustments. And the entire group has just been a lot more close-knit, and that's, that's been the biggest thing. You know, we have a lot of road games this year, and in order to, to win on the road, we've got to be a close-knit family, not just the DBs, but as a team in general. This team had some big road wins down the stretch last year. You think about a Coastal Carolina, the number mm -hmm. one team in the country, a playoff win at James Madison. Did that help this team as well as far as its makeup? Just, just being close knit, we needed to, we needed to band together and uh, become close knit as a family and as a, as a team. And um, like I said, we spent a lot, a lot, a lot of time together on the road, on the bus, on the plane, in the hotel. And um, being that, that close to each other all the time, that definitely shows out on the field. Now you do start the season at home, though. That's a nice thing. You got Delaware State here before you go up to Morgantown in West Virginia. Do you like the way that things kind of fall into place with the schedule? Yeah, for once we actually get to start off the season at home in front of the fans and um, give people a, a nice show. I don't want to say a warm-up game, but we definitely get get our feet wet before we head on the road because we got a lot of road games this year. And recently announced as well, Coastal Carolina Liberty. That's now going to be a Thursday night game here at Williams Stadium, national television. How exciting is that? Uh, well, now that you. Brought, brought it to my attention. Uh, <laughs> like I said, it's recently announced. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's exciting. You know, it's coastal. Everybody looks forward to that game, but we got to take it one step at a time. Delaware State's the first up, West Virginia after that, and we're taking it one step at a time. I'm sure uh, all the coaches that have us ready and, and prepared for coastal. Wesley, appreciate the time. Enjoy the rest of fall camp. Thank you. That's Wesley Scott here with the Liberty Flames. My name is Nick Pierce for LibertyFlames.com.